vehicles and, and we look to, to help uh, help the city uh, with the funds that we receive from them. Uh, also, if I'm not sure they're on the list, but we have three, pat um, three patrol vehicles that are, that are in bad shape that we're looking to also auction to have the proceeds of the city. Um, these are vehicles that would require a lot of money to get them roadworthy. Uh, one is a 2012 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, I'm not sure. Do you remember the rear model of the Charger? It's like a 2010 or something like that. Right? You're talking about police vehicles? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, they're, they're old. Uh, they require a lot of work. It's you don't want to dip any more money into them. Chief, how, how long has it been since you utilized, since they've been on the road? Of uh, the Charger. Is it 2006? So a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the Charger, we did some money into it a uh, while well back in, last year. But it, it's just not. It's not capable of performing for, for our use. Um, that was the previous chief that put the money into. As far Does as that the, car get painted? Yes. Wow, just got a paint job. Yeah, it's just the vehicle. It's the vehicle that it, it's it's not it, it's not running good enough to to our standards where we need it to be to be safe and reliable. And is there, uh, there's an addition to this, is that right? Um, we have some uh, pipe that you want to add to this list? Uh, that's, that's, the, that's, that's public works, yeah. It, there's some storage pipe, pipe that's been left over previous projects, is that what you're saying? Yes, well, they were telling me about that pipe. Is that pipe out over here? On the Colorado plant, correct. That's just leftover pipe from uh, rehab that we've done in the past. That's casing? Ms. Garcia has the full casing, list yeah, of pipe. Right? Eight, 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 eight to ten inch casing. Oh, if anybody's in this. Uh, and, yeah. Well, actually, it stems from one and a quarter, quarter to ten inch. That's uh, stuff they pulled out of the well? Correct. Is it blown out or just some of it's Some of it's usable, uh, some of it's decrepit, you know, most of it's pretty decent. For, for structural type. Yeah, fencing, stuff like that. Chief, how many vehicles were you adding to the auction? It's going to be three. Three of three them? Three of the older patrol vehicles. Okay. If you guys want to see the bike. I think they have it here. Yeah. 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 All right, so this includes the uh, list that you see on page 89, the three police vehicles, and this list of pipes. Council, do you have any other questions regarding this auction item? We've got a motion to say it. With that, I will call for a vote. All in favor, favor please say aye. I have aye. a question real quick. Sorry. No? Okay, we're going to allow the question. Council, Maria. On the casing, it's $5 a piece? That's correct, because they, they stem from really small diameter pipes. You're starting to right. start five bucks. Correct. So you start it, it can go up to, yeah, it goes some of us will go high. I mean, higher than, what we're, we started with minimum bid. And these auctions are not done seal built bid. They're going <coughs> online, correct? Online, correct. We're not going to have like our very own knowing what they're bidding on. Well, everybody well, yeah. says, you'll see it. Come go see it online. Okay. Yeah, because I know we had some questions last time when people were buying vehicles, and it was okay. I just want to make sure that everybody gets an equal opportunity. Yeah. Very good. All right. We've got a motion and a second. Uh, Don't we need to amend it to add the three vehicles from the police department? We've got uh, Councilman Leal and Councilwoman Garza. We've got an amendment for the three uh, police vehicles and the pipe. Are you okay with adding that to your motion? No. Yes, sir. Yeah, the pipe. I just indicated the pipe. Okay, would that being the case? Uh, well, the resolution is to city property surplus and authorize the city manager to utilize. So that pretty much covers everything. Yeah. yeah. Which, we, which we've also identified. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, any other questions? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor, please say aye. 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 <clears throat> all that. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. All right, item 8H. Discuss and consider emergency replacement and rehab of a well pumping equipment at the East Mount Well and authorize the city manager to enter into and execute a contract with Alpay Incorporated in the amount not to exceed $162,700 for repairs. This is an action item. <coughs> the second. 
Motion by Councilwoman Hernandez. Second. Second. Second by Councilwoman Leal, City Manager. Uh, I'm going to speak a little bit to this, and then I'll let Hector Hector finish it off. Um, but this well, we've had um, we've had issues with it since the summertime. Um, you can see the quote that we had was back uh, date back late July. Um, but in that, uh, what we struggle with on that end is trying to find a solution that that's not as costly um, and not as expensive. And so this we we had this uh, we had some. Um, observations and what we did we had all say actually take pull the well and uh, actually look at we have some video we don't really want to show you guys but we had to run a, run a camera to to down this well and so what we have is is um, some some significant maintenance work that needs to be done for sure on this well and then if you look back at the quote that I gave you the hundreds and I apologize this is a quote is the hundred sixty two thousand seven hundred you see some additional costs there. And when I say additional, the cost is, is for two and a half by one inch oil tube assemblies. You see a eight foot by 20 column pipe, and you see there towards the bottom a uh, flow wise pump end. And those are all cost drivers, meaning those that's what really drives up the cost. And so we our hope and our intent is to not to have to use all the dollars, all these dollars to uh, to do all this work, but their work, the work does need to be done in order to get the, the well going. Uh, the well is down right now. Uh, we had a little, we have a little break because our our three wells are holding up. My concern is and, and has been, is, of course, the cost, and the other is is if we have another well go down, then then we're we're, we're definitely going to have some problems. So we, we I'd like to get this repaired. Um, and you know, again, we were fortunate enough because we have our conditions have been favorable. Favorable, or we haven't uh, worked our well as hard as we have, as hard as we did in the summer months. But it is, it is something that and my recommendation is to the council is to get this work done. Um, again, we have, you know, done the camera work and we've done some analysis on the well. And uh, this, in my opinion, is is the best way to go because we we need to get it repaired. I don't want to be here next summer and asking y'all for money and and uh, having having issues with our with our water wells. So, uh, what is council, it? council, we need, just so that you guys know, um, city staff reached out to three or four different water well drilling companies and were unable. To, they wouldn't even give us a bid because they were so busy with the drought and everything else. So, um, if we do, Fred, you might want to brief them on if we do the bid process, what that would entail. Um, the, the bid process, and again, this, this is, in my opinion, is not to avoid the bid process, but it does, if we do this, and again, we're running some risk on some, you know, getting this thing repaired, is the risk is, is that we have to go out and get an engineer for specifications, um, put it out for bid, and then hope we get a better bid than, uh, than what we currently have. So, but the well is down. To be clear, that it, it's... Mayor, I have a question with the numbers. Go ahead. Okay, so this is what we just received today. So yes. we didn't have this in our packet. So what we had in our packet on page 90 yep. is a labor pool of 680 feet of an eight inch oil loop at 5,500. Mm -hmm. You have it here on the other bit at 4,500. That's, that was, again, it was the amount, let me do that. The amount that's on there is not, again, this is. Okay, so this here is, is no good. That okay. Is not good. The other question you said it right now too is a question that I had is that we've already paid for camera use on these wells. You said, you the can camera wells. Remember when the cameras went in there and they showed us these really beautiful pictures, uh, but they're charging us again for a camera. Yes, we've done the work. Meaning you have to, we have to go down there to see okay what is the problem because we don't of course from the naked eye from the view so you have to go see what the problem is within the case. But area. didn't we already pay for that? No, no. So <coughs> the pictures that we saw last time a few months ago. What you saw were the tanks. Yes. Okay. The tanks. Remember, you, we looked, but I don't want to get into all Okay, so the tanks, but okay, whenever they were repairing the tank, didn't they go down on that well? Not this no. well. This is, this is the well. This is the underground well. Yeah, the one on the bottom. This is totally you, separate you, from, you, the, you from the storage. Thing. Thing. What it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But so, but this, don't we already have it? That's the question. No, look, get, get that. Uh, get that. Okay. This thing? Yep. Okay. Put it in. Yeah, because yeah, that's what I'm saying. That 
If they no, just did it three months ago, that's why I want to make sure if it's not this one. We're, we're talking storage, storage, uh, uh, yes. above ground storage versus underground wells. Okay. Okay. That's two so totally this different. Is, yeah, that's what. That's the question that I'm asking. Right. Like, what this is, is what this is what the cameras do when you go under. So what what camera is this at? What this is, is this at right now? This camera basically it goes down in the well and is looking at all of you know. So did we already pay for that? No, we have not paid for that. We're, well, we had the work done, but again, as far as this quote, we have to pay for. It. Okay, but we're only going to pay for it once. Right. Okay, okay that's good. the question I have. So, so you have this, and it gets to give you an idea. Crystal, can you fast forward? Sure. Just fast forward almost to the, almost to the end. Go all the way to the. I just drag it. There you go. That's what that's what it looks. Like. That's your that's the water well. That's at over a thousand four hundred feet down. Yeah. So what I'm looking great. at. It's that's all so fun again. This is yeah. nice. Uh, that's what's growing on this, basically on the oxidation. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the oxidation that grows along the, the well. And so what we need to do when we had talked about jetting and, and this acid, muriatic acid treatment, that's what it's going to treat. So that's, and it gets worse. And it gets, it, it gets, here's where we're running into some issues. So you, you keep running the, keep fast forward almost to this the, is the water hole? Go to the. Yeah, right there. So you're so this is what it's going to have to treat, and this is what we're saying. Our goal is to is to not have to buy some of this column pipe. We're going to try to keep that to a minimum. So you look at that, and this is all the fun stuff we get to look at. Um, and then you go to the very bottom. Go go push it all over. And this well is is was it fourteen? Yeah, it's about forty or fifty feet. It's completely. Uh, yeah, go back the yeah, you, you'll see it. it'll go black. It'll go dark, and what, what's happening is that we're hitting uh, minerals, so uh, deposits. It's completely clogged on the bottom. There's 40 yeah. feet of complete uh, enclosure, so it's just, there's no. So does the casing collapse or? No, it's not collapsed. It's, it's a sodium. It's a the calcium and mineral deposits from the water itself. Uh, that it's 40 feet of it, right? So, yeah, it's, it's, I think the well is a little over, it's like 1,400 feet. 14, so, so, so the Marriott so, acid, how, long, how far down does it go for the 19,000? 1,450 feet. <coughs> okay, what it, is it? 1,450 feet is, is what you look at. If you look at that, that so that's going to go to the bottom? The, the acid treatment mm -hmm. is correct. It, it'll, it'll try to, try to uh, loosen up all that. All that and that's the one that costs the nineteen thousand two hundred. Yes, the treatment is yes, very costly. So if you look at that council, what it is again on that end, the column pipe. We're not. What we're trying to do is to, is to make sure we're going to replace the column pipe that we need to replace. Um, but we don't want to, you know, on our end, all, Hector will be out there with. If the column pipe is in decent shape and we want to be out there with them, we're we're going to just keep some of the column. Pipe. So okay, you, yeah, but my question is, like, if we're doing a treatment, mm -hmm. do we still have to do the treatment when we're going to replace the pipe? Yes, because you're putting in a brand new pipe that's open, open drain on the bottom. It's just going to collect whatever's down in there. Okay. So you have to clean whatever's down in there first. Okay. And, and, and by cleaning just... it also, you might be able to salvage some of this pipe. Some of it's still good. Saving us money at the end. At the end, yeah, that, that's the challenge. Is whenever you treat it with the acid, it, and the barely, reason I'm asking these questions because we barely got this. This wasn't in it's, our it's, it's 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 a lot. I mean, like I said, I know it's a lot to absorb. On, on the other end, is I, I don't have you know you know my challenge. Our challenge is is you know then I, I don't want to not address it and then have to go help us another well go down. But, but that's pretty much where we're at. We've done the work, the analysis. It's, it's just a matter now of, of we, where are we, we pulling this money from? It'll be pulled some for the actual maintenance will be from operating budget and we, we think we have enough for that they're operating and then the other if we need to replace column pipe that will come out of the RP. That's what we're doing. Councilman Leo, you have a question? Yes. So we're replacing only 36 joints. What now? 36 joints. Uh, we're in case scenario we're replacing the whole thing from top to bottom. So then this quote might not be that accurate because it says 36 joints, right? 36, 36 new eight by 20 column pipe? Uh, I would concentrate on the 680 feet and 720 feet at the top and bottom of that. The I thought it was 1,450 feet. Well, there's there's 680 feet of, of eight inch pipe is what they're, 
what they're pulling. Okay. Uh, this and is the rest is what. <coughs> The, the rest of the screens and, and then all this other stuff, well pumps, and uh, that they go on the very end of, of this okay. uh, apparatus here. Yeah. All this right here, what you're seeing is, is there basically a screen. It's a screen. Right here is a screen. Okay. So if you look at it carefully, you see the little holes. Those holes are meant to be there. And what we have to do with that treatment is get those holes to where they open up. And then we have to get rid of all the stuff. And you can see back towards the back there. I, mean, I had a lesson in this last week. I thought it was pretty interesting. But there's, you know, to me, all this stuff, that's what needs to to be clean in order for the water to pump and filter. Fred, we drink that? Absolutely. Well, it goes to the tanks first. Yeah, it gets <laughs> treated. <laughs> Fred, so this quote was given in July How did that yes, get 20th. Yes, yeah. the, this quote is valid for 30 days. It's been 75 yeah. days since this quote. Right. So, to have a revised one, is it the same? Uh, I did give you a revised, but they broke it down into just labor versus labor plus equipment. Okay. Uh, this is an all inclusive. Uh, the guy reassured me that it's still good right so, now. So, he's saying this because I know that prices of everything are yeah. now starting to rise again. Right. They fluctuate a little yes. bit. So, we're, we're hoping that we don't have to use utilize the entire 1,400 feet. If you have the 680 and the 720, you get the 1,400 feet yeah. of work. All together, pipe, whether it's solid or stringed out. Okay. Now, did we have room in the budget when we were budgeting for partially or most of this, being that we have just started the physical budget? No, we, we could have, again, we could have probably put it into the ARP budget, but again, part of this is, is from the maintenance. We, we do have maintenance budget, okay? So the challenge with maintenance is sometimes we don't know what we need. I mean, the maintenance part is when we run into stuff like this, it's like, well, it's it's expensive, right? And so we hope that the rest of our maintenance budget is able to, to support any other repairs. In saying that, we're lucky we have ARP um, because that's, that is that is helping us. And so with a bigger expense, I would say seventy to $80,000 of this is, would probably come from ARP. Assuming we have to do... Well, I'd say more than that. Probably more like ninety to hundred thousand dollars would come from ARP, assuming we have to do that project the entire amount. Um, so, so that's what I'm getting at is is we we could pull the money from ARP and operating budget, which is which is consistent to what we have in the in the budget. What are the chances of this actually coming out to more than what the estimate is? If worst case scenario everything fails, I'm going to blame Hector for it. According to them, it's it's highly unlikely. Uh, because we, we, we do we have found some usable reusable uh, column pipe, not all of it though. But some of it's reusable. Now, how old is this well? Uh, 2014. <coughs> 2014. So we're looking at eight years. Seems, seems like yeah. So then, is there any other well? Is one of the other three older than this? Yes. So uh, we're looking at possibly. And then if we actually go into those, find similar problems. Mm, possibly. Being that is possibly. coming from the same water source. Right. I mean, and the, the more we wait on this one, the, the higher the risk. You know, because we put more stress on those. Correct. That is correct. I, I right now, we're, we're putting more stress on the smaller one, which is our cherry plant, which we're, we're stressing out a little bit. So it, it, it's, it's got some kind of vibration on it right now, but it's, it's totally understood because we're actually pushing it a little bit more. To make up for the loss of this in here. Uh, Hector, with your uh, expertise, is there anything that we could do to prevent something like this from occurring yeah. so soon? We we could instill a maintenance program, which we have uh, moving forward, uh, a maintenance program which would require uh, maybe an, uh, a camera down system and and maybe a sonar jetting, uh, occasional sonar jetting that maybe wants to pick a plant once a year. And just constant and kind of rotate them through a CIP or something, or, or just instill it into the budget to where we can rotate or do all. If we lucky enough, you know, prices start going down a little bit, we can do all four plants, you know, with the sonar jet and the downhole uh, camera system. Now, is this something that we could possibly send someone in your department to go get some training and do it in house, or is this something uh, that's be outsourced? No. Now, you know, uh, you in this area, you'd have to reach out to the oil field. Which is three times the cost of what these guys are doing. We we done, done our research, and the you, the equipment you need to purchase it would run you into the half to three quarters of a million dollars. So you need some jetting equipment, some major jetting. I mean, what we have is 
top side. I mean, you can only jet whatever's yeah. you know on the ground, and then kind of linear, not necessarily vertical, kind of horizontal. But we don't have the capability. We will lose pressure. We don't, and then plus we're talking 1,400 feet. Our our current jetter right now will go up to like a 300 feet tops. You know, before it loses pressure, it, it goes up to like 400 total. But you'll start losing some of that pressure. So I think of this like 1,400 feet. What does that average cost? For on the high end to jet. To jet. If we did a maintenance program, maybe. Probably. I 